When it comes to agricultural markets, the USDA is really the go-to source for most market watchers and market participants. And the USDA reports on really broad basket of commodities focused primarily on the U.S., but they also have estimates and, and data for countries outside the U.S. Concentrated reports in, in the grain space, but also in cotton and in livestock. The USDA is a source of comprehensive information about, about ag markets, and as a result of that, those publications are very closely monitored and, and widely followed by market participants, traders, farmers, and anyone with an interest in agricultural markets. So as an example, in, in the month when a USDA crop production report is, is going to be released, you'll see a lot of market anticipation of what numbers might be published, whether production estimates are going up or going down. And then immediately after the release of a report, there's a, an uptick in activity in trading. People take that information to formulate new trading plans, modify positions, and really act on information and data that's provided by the USDA. So those regular and consistent reports from the USDA become a rhythm that the market trades around. And it's really a, a key driver and a key input for folks that are active in ag markets. So whenever there's a, a USDA report released, obviously the market is watching it very closely and then taking actions or reacting to that report. And sometimes those actions can be quite volatile. If numbers are a surprise to the market or production increases are more or less than expected or supply is taken in a different direction, you'll see a quite strong reaction in the market. Typically, there's kind of a twofold reaction. One is in the immediate release of a report you'll see a very quick and sharp reaction from short-term traders. And then once that number has been released and digested, over the course of a trading session or maybe even the next couple of trading sessions, the market will start to assimilate that information and plot a new trajectory, a new path based on the latest information from USDA. So USDA reports can be market movers in the short term with an immediate almost knee-jerk reaction. And then in the longer term, as the market assimilates and processes the latest data that's been released. There is a lot of effort that goes into monitoring and anticipating USDA reports, but even with that effort, oftentimes there are surprises. So when the market is surprised, you'll see a strong reaction. And sometimes what we'll see is, in addition to publishing new estimates, on a semi-regular basis, the USDA will go back and revise previous estimates or historical data. And when we get some of these backward-looking revisions, that can often be a time when there's a market reaction or an unanticipated reaction from the market. Lots of effort goes into projecting or anticipating what the next estimate will be, but not so much work into backward revisions. So those can tend to come as more of a surprise in markets. And while USDA reports uh, cover a wide variety of commodities, their impact tends to be greatest in two kinds of markets. One is just where there is a lot of trading activity, and that's a big liquid market like corn or soybeans. Those markets tend to have a lot of participants and therefore a strong reaction to any USDA data. The other type of markets that can have a strong reaction would be markets where maybe there aren't as many external sources or as many third-party estimates for numbers. So a little bit more of an information vacuum there, and then USDA fills that vacuum with their data. So a market that would be a good example of that is something like orange juice, where there aren't a lot of private companies publishing a lot of data about orange juice. So that's a market that periodically when USDA publishes something, you get a strong reaction. Mm -hmm. 